What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Charles Charles Podcast. Today, we'll be reacting to I Missed Out on Married to Children, Women Regret Feminism. But first, let's take care of the YouTube stuff. Road to 1K subs. I'm going to need your help. I can't do it alone. So go ahead and do the right thing. Give me that double click. That's where you hit the like and the subscribe button for me. Go ahead and do that right now. Anyway, first, we're going to run the clip. Then I'll get my brief opinion. After that, we'll take a look at the comments to see what was said. And that's how the story goes. Let's get into the video. Where have all the good men gone? Well, a lot of men gone. Well, a lot of them are married. Some of them are no longer with us. And a lot of them, they kind of just are sick of the fucking double standards that women are putting out there every day. And so they're just staying to themselves. They're towing their line. They're not giving women a chance because we are not worth the risk when we don't hold ourselves to the same standards. This is a direct result of the feminist movement that taught women that it's okay to be conditionally feminine, that to only fight for equal rights when it suits your needs, and then all still require men to be traditional as long as it benefited them. And this is why today men are choosing not to get married because many women want to have their cake and eat it too. They want a traditional man while being modern women themselves that don't hold to any traditional values. And men have decided to just step away, step out, and keep to themselves. Men have always been adaptive to whatever environment you place them in. And in today's environment, they've adapted and said that they'd rather not deal with the modern women at all. Don't tell him because he doesn't know when to clean and rub your feet that he's not a man. That's just silly. He's a man because he comes home. He's a man when he protects his family. He's a man when he takes responsibility for what goes on about other people's lives. That's what being a man is. You want all these little, you know, trinkets and whatnot. That's not what manhood is. It's about the basics. It's about the solid, down-home things that you have to do. And he's showing up in here all oh, man. All oh, man. Don't be so afraid that you dark this guy away. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Ain't nothing you upset about that serious. Nothing. I was younger, like 25 years ago, and my husband would come home, and I would just carpet bomb him with complaints. <laughs> just carpet bomb him. You know what I mean? And one day my mother said, you know, one day he's going to stop coming home. Because that door is an entry to hell for him. What you doing? Don't do that. This is a direct result of social media and how many modern women have built up these fantasies and Disney fairy tales in their heads of what they expect a relationship to be. Not to mention, they usually have one or two single friends in their ear telling them that they should not have to be dealing with or putting up with any type of mess from a man. Then they go home and they complain about this all to their man, not understanding really the efforts, the energy, and the time that their man is putting in to be a good, upstanding provider, protector, and making sure that he takes care of his responsibilities. I agree 100% with the judge. It is only but so much a man is going to want to hear about how he is not doing anything right when he knows he is busting his butt every single day before he finally decides that why am I even bothering? Why am I even dealing with this? I just won't go back. <laughs> I know you women don't want to hear for someone like me, but if you're going to deal with someone that's anywhere with 10% and up, we're not even talking about one percent. That's not even an option. Don't even bring it up. They're, they're going to stop you stupid. But if you're going to deal with a man that's financially stable and he can literally afford... Give us a number so they can like... Because uh, I think I'm speaking Chinese when I say you're going to have to... Chichale Chichale way, Chichale way. Honestly, finding a man that makes $100,000 or more is now becoming rare. It's now literally becoming more of a rare thing. If someone can make six figures, it's becoming a rare thing. But and single and not ugly, And right? single and no kids and attractive and charming. You're asking for a lot. Yeah. So if you're dealing with someone that makes a million dollars plus per year, we're talking about every 365 days, you will not be the only woman. That is a lie that women tell themselves because we want to feel special. Wow. And this is exactly why you do not take advice from women. Actually, in today's world, in today's market, there are more men here now than ever. Black, white, Hispanic, no matter the race nor ethnicity that are making more money today, 
more now than ever because of the economic climate. There are more men today making hundreds of thousand of dollars than has there ever been any time in history. The thing is that you do not see these men because many modern women, because of their attitudes, because of their beliefs, and because of the feminist and masculine behavior, do not even qualify to be in a man like this present. They will avoid you at all costs. They will do everything to make sure that you are not in their circle and make sure that only traditional, feminine, friendly, and fit women who are ready to cooperate and get on their program or around them at all times. Modern day feminists want equality between men and women. I think they want to beat men. They don't take any pride in being feminine. They grow their armpit hair out. They say we need to bring down the patriarchy. But who is the patriarchy? Do you think it's men who set all these standards for women to uphold in the beauty world? You're forgetting that other women set the standards too. As a woman, I think armpit hair on women is disgusting and unhygienic. I'm a woman setting that beauty standard, not a man. I also think a woman should pride herself on being a good mother and taking care of her family in the home. Not to say that you can't have a job at the same time, but no one can do what a mother can do and you should be proud of that. Not want to destroy that. Men and women are not the same and that's beautiful. I'm proud to be a woman. I don't want to be a man. So on behalf of all women who like being women, can you guys stop trying to make us men? This right here is the exact type of woman that many modern day feminists would sit back and shame with insults and accuse her way of thinking of being old and archaic. But this is also the exact class of woman that many men today would be proud to sit here and, and walk around on their arm because she understands and she gets it. She knows her role. She knows where her femininity lies and the power in it. And she knows that she is not here to compete with the man, but yet to cooperate. This right here scares many feminists because they do not want women to think like this. They want women to believe that they should hate men that they are better than men and that most of all they do not need men to do anything all right let's go see what was said in the comments first commenter says i gotta say feminism started out with great intentions a campaign for equality no matter the situation but a lot of feminism nowadays is either man hating or just an excuse to trash on traditional feminine women there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a housewife or what is considered a traditional homemaker and just like that wanting to be a breadwinner and a career woman is also okay wow she said a lot there but here's the thing many career women they still want a traditional man even though they're not traditional themselves and even worse they think that because now that they make more money that that qualifies them for a higher caliber of man men don't care about how much money you bring to the table Men don't care about your career status. That is not the number one thing on a man's list when he is thinking about a woman and what she brings to the table of value. Men value your femininity. Men value your ability to cooperate. And men value your fitness and your beauty. Those come first. And then everything else comes second. The next commenter says, When you have spent decades belittling men, putting them down and staring at them, don't wonder where they all went. This is exactly where we are today. The results of how men have responded to the current state of affairs is not the result of a short way of thinking. This is the result of decades and decades of men being bashed, shamed, and blamed for the problems that women have caused for themselves. And now, finally, many men are standing up and tired of listening to all of the nonsense. And they're saying that I've had enough. I'd rather not deal with you at all if this is how you're going to talk about me. The next commenter says, and it's a long one. As a woman, feminist movement in the U.S. is honestly terrifying to look at. It's so full of double standard and mean spirits. They don't support women. They just hate men. I grew up with the description of feminism as fighting for women's rights to stay in school and not in the kitchen. And I learned many kick ass ladies from the country who fought their own battles and the journey of the nation's independence. One fought so that women can also go to school since back then only boys were allowed to. Another joined an army to fight colonizers after her husband was executed. They were all kick ass ladies who fought the system but didn't despise men. Some of them were even widows who took up arms because their dear husbands were no longer there to protect them. But in the current days of USA or Western Europe standards, it's just the I hate men movement. It makes me bewildered as only disturbed women would feel like that. Don't they have a father, a grandfather? My father was an amazing man. He was flawed and I once got severely disappointed by him, but I love him to bits. My grandfather, kick ass, a man I respect to the deep. 
of my bones. A veteran from the days of the early independence from when the nation was still not entirely safe yet. I took pride in being his fave granddaughter before dementia hit him. Hate men, I grew up respecting them. Teased by my male cousins, protected by them, etc. How could anyone hate an entire gender? It's confusing to me. Same as men hating all women. Y'all don't have mothers or grandmothers. What a disturbing phenomenon. It speaks volume of your society. Whoa. She said a lot there. And I agree with 90% of it. The feminist movement in the early days was definitely needed to give women the rights that they did not have at one time. But the feminist movement today is just a hate group bent on hating men, despising them, and acting and pretending as if they don't need them. Next commenter says, in one of the big tragedies that feminism has produced, it went from being about setting women free to creating identity. And being against men, it takes revenge on men and rejecting and putting them down. And then time catches up with them. They can't all be career chasers, strong independent islands. Humans are social animals. The family and the gender roles did not arrive exclusively from patriarchal oppression. Wow, mic drop. Next commenter says, it's getting rarer and rarer to find a man that makes 100k or more a year. No, it's not. Today is more common for a man to make 100k a year than ever before in the history of mankind. It's getting harder for you to find a man that makes over 100k because every year you become less and less attractive to men who make over 100k. Your personal experience isn't an indicator or demographic average ladies. And the last commenter says, happy housewife here. My husband goes to work every day while I stay home and take care of our son at home. I have worked many different jobs and never found the satisfaction or fulfillment that I have found in this one. I do my best to make sure my husband knows he is appreciated and loved every single day. But there you have it. As always, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Love to hear your feedback. And don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button to show your support for the channel. Until next time.